I first thought about, um, I think I thought I interested in um, two com like opposite feelings. Okay. Like, yeah. Um, so I think about life and death, and something represent life would be green and yellow and blue. This mm. is life, mm. and then about death would be black, black and white. Yeah, and then I try to put a zip between them, trying to. Uh, show that this is um, the white thing like um, in the zip will be the gap between life and death when I, when I think about those um, for example relationships between people mm. and um, how people mourn and how people um, interact with each other I kind of I find myself very interested in two opposite feelings okay. they put together yeah yeah so um, I think Gap is a good choice because it can fall in between. It's a uh, affair tall, yeah. and uh, I kind of change the structure in it because my theme is gap. I have yeah. a like a uh, linked tail gap, and this is actually a uh, zip, oh, so okay. you can like zip it up. This is about like um, when I try to use charcoal much better. Um, trying like after practicing with mm. how to use the charcoal, mm. and so I draw this, and this is also like a gap, and this there's a person who tried to survive. Yes, this is also about two opposite feelings putting together because you see this person is trying to survive, but. Oppositely, he also can die. Mm. So it's about two opposite feelings together. Yes. Uh, I'm very interested in physics and mathematics. Okay. So I also figure out from this one. I'm not the kind of person who can draw um, like with a lot of colors. Right. So I try to um, like show my best, and um, so um, like I read one book and about architectural drawing and that and the title is perspective drawings oh and okay yeah. yeah so i find out from there like i like those straight lines i like simple things this is a theory that i try to use like straight lines you know like from one point perspective yeah from the origin here to yeah. draw that yeah and then i go and then i go from there is also um it's always about using rulers, but yeah. then I, I try to draw some big pieces that, um, trying to show like my confidence in drawing those. Then I try to forget about the ruler. I try to do it by hand only. This piece I draw it because like I want to show like this is myself. And it's also in the identity unit. Yeah. And, um. Like as all the process, we should have a face of yeah. me, and um, that's when we just started DP. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, like falling inside, like in the dark, and then try to survive it. And then those are the things here I draw that I like. I'm very enjoyed. I enjoy it in um, photograph, yeah. uh, masks, uh, violin, music, and time. This one is my last piece. It contains some like details in it, like those yeah. where you draw the um, buildings. Yeah. But then it also like have um, the very um, specialized or the very um, simplified style of how 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 I um, sh how can I show my skills? How can I show um, my passion about like? perspective drawings mm. because this is the uh, origin and then I draw lines like after that mm. so th it forms the whole thing obviously I improve my skills mm. and now I'm like I, as you can see there I couldn't even draw like only with bare hands yeah. and with a pencil but now I can draw draw it like that but mm. also like I, I make some mistakes but 
I have improved myself and then I figured out what, I, what I'm interested in and I figured out like how art can interact with people. Best of luck.